Um, I saw one called Code Black, and it's about sort of just this one specific emergency room and the frustrations of the bureaucracy of sort of the healthcare system. Mm -hmm. And it starts out that they're, um, they work in an ER and it's a community hospital. Um, nobody gets turned away whether or not they have insurance, which is pretty rare nowadays, you know, and it's in the inner city. So they originally start out in this tiny building and they have this sort of, it's almost like a war type hospital and there's a lot of triage every it looked like chaos mm -hmm. when you see the film from it and then eventually the government has these regulations and they had to shut down and move into a different building so they move into this higher higher class you know very nice building state of the art but it doesn't have the areas where they were actually learning they were training these ER doctors and it just looked like a shouting match to me, like, mm -hmm. you know, um, 50 and 60 people and doctors reaching in on bodies that are right next to each other and no curtains in between. And But mm -hmm. apparently these ER doctors really enjoyed that way that they learned and they actually got to be really hands on and see other people and talk to other people. And apparently they felt it was much better. And then when they move into this other place... It's larger and they have, you know, more more accessible areas, but this separation and all the bureaucracy that comes with it, they had to start filling out these other paperwork um, as far as HIPAA is mm -hmm. concerned. They had to – it's more bureaucracy than they need. Yeah. Um, and so it's – code black is when this hospital is – in so much waiting, like their waiting room is full. People will wait eight hours to get into this emergency room because they have nowhere else to go. Mm -hmm. And it was mainly focusing on the frustration of these physicians who, when you think about it, are, I mean, it takes a really special person to A, be into that kind of medicine because it's stressful and traumatic and horrible. But then when you have to go straight from that to filling out an hour's worth of paperwork for that one patient and you're not getting to actually see the people that are sitting in your waiting room. And it was really, it was sad because I know that I know the frustration of the medical system just from my side, but apparently it goes all around. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it was actually filmed by one of the ER doctors. So he kind of not only talks about it himself, but he just sort of lets his coworkers tell you their opinions and what's going on and how frustrated they are with this entire situation and how some of them work two and three hour, you know, shifts and they still only see one patient because the system is so slow and they're mm -hmm. just in this sludge of paperwork. It was kind of horrible and it was like it left me with, well, why are there no solutions being right. presented at all, you know? Mm -hmm. It showed you the situation, and I think that's something that people needed to see, especially from a different side. But there was just nothing presented to me that would show any kind of resolution, you know? That would have been appreciated. Mm. Yeah. I guess he didn't have that idea, but... Right. Yeah. I, You know, somebody should have had an idea of how to fix this, mm -hmm. like... He just seemed to be talking about the frustration with the bureaucracy of it all and sort of in a hopeless way. Mm -hmm. And it was just that was depressing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I liked it because it was really honest. And I mean, you really saw people in an emergency room and horrible things that happen and these doctors who, you know, rush to their side and then have to look at everybody waiting in the line while they finish their paperwork, you know? Yeah. So it was good. Um, I definitely think people should probably see it, especially if you're like me and you have been on the other side of the medical system and dealt with the paperwork there. Mm -hmm. It goes all around. It's um, sort of a rounded out view. Yeah. A Place for Film is recorded at WFIU Studios in Bloomington, Indiana.